Hi everybody. So I wanted to post something about how to start a process of strengthening the upper body for those who have really difficulty with this. That involves increasing sensory awareness and by doing that, improving your perceptions, your ability to notice, to become aware of, and to process that awareness. So a percept is kind of like framing something, naming it. For lack of a better term, you don't need to have a, a name, but to be able to kind of notice it, use, make use of it, by making use of it, you start to improve coordination, where you're taking a richer amount of sensory feedback, having a real sense or real awareness of that, using that to improve coordination, and by doing that, improve stability. Now, I want to give a major shout out to a wonderful teacher. His name is Kevin Frank, and he really helped me understand this concept. Uh, I would say that I've taken it in my own directions, but hey, don't we all do that? So thank you, Kevin. Thank you very much. So working with this client, wanting to start to help her to develop some upper body strength. Now, you understand um, this is a client who's had debilitating pain with arthritis for upwards of 30 years. And we have gotten her to get so she can do a lot of movement. I've been doing online movement sessions with her for months. And she's been very steady and very diligent. So the kinds of things that we're doing here, if we tried to do that months ago, would have thrown her neck into complete spasm her lower back into complete spasm, her knees, totally immediate pain, the bottoms of her feet, totally gripped. So, first thing, find a surface that you can stand at like this. Now it could be a little higher or a little lower. This is the back of a couch. And so the first thing I'm doing is I'm wanting to increase the sensory information. Now with her today, when I worked on this, I had her first just bring her palms together. So you could try that. And just feel the contact of the surface of your skin. And you can play with that in any way you want. Now, when I bring my awareness to my skin in this way, to the sensation, I start to notice other parts of my body. I start to get a, di a different feel for my breath. I start to feel a sense of the ground, where it is. And I can feel into a place in my foot. Um, I have a, a foot that had surgery on it, issues with that hip, with that side of my lower back. So that part starts to say, hey, let's open up too. So I'm just saying, tuning in to sensation in this way starts to open doors into the whole body. Now, that, this is just a process, so if you will, go through this with me. And now the same thing here. Finding the surface of this fabric and feeling it. And now I'm feeling the surface of that fabric, and as I feel that fabric, I notice the sensation up into my body, up into my shoulder blades and how they meet the back. Back of my pelvis and how that can release into the ground, into my feet. Now I'm gonna do this like I did with her and say, every once in a while, change feet. 
I don't want you to burn out your legs while you're just trying to find this new stuff. So first, I'm really enjoying the texture of the top of this couch. And then feeling how that connection from the couch comes up into my shoulders. And I've got most all of my weight in my feet, really all of it. And now I start to take a little bit of weight into my hands and come up out of it. And by doing that, by that really tiny load, I'm, I'm focusing on orienting first. So sensing and then perceiving, orienting, here I am. This is where I am. And in the process of that sensing and perceiving, I'm getting a more full body coordination into this gentle taking of the weight. And then you start to just give that more and more. Okay, so let me back up a little bit. So, sensing, perceiving where, how, how fast, feeling that full body coordination, that connection, feet to hand. Remember to change feet once in a while. And this, this is why I'm backing up. And then feeling that sense of full body connection, which allows you to feel stable. Stable. Okay. This is something, it's a lot of what I end up doing with all of my structural integration manual therapy clients. You get enough of you connecting into a movement that suddenly you feel like you could you could just be solid okay you feel solid you feel stable you are there you are present you can assemble your resources you can feel the different parts of you coming together it doesn't mean everything is perfect you, you lived your life, right? You've got whatever has gone on in your body. You, you bring things to the next level. And one of those levels, uh, well, one level is structural work where you try to get stuff released and able to coordinate together because one side of a muscle pairing is not stuck or one part of a movement system is not restricting Right? If your ankle is restricted, you're going to feel it in your lower back. Okay? That's what I mean by a part in a motion system, a movement system, being freed up so that it takes away the wrench in the works of that movement system, like a stuck ankle can do to your sacroiliac joint. Okay, so, sensing, perceiving, here I am. Here's how much this, what, this is how much weight there is. Coordinating, getting my whole body involved because of that richness of that sensory involvement, the clarity of that perception, where, how, how fast, how much energy, how much weight. That sense of coordination through the whole body of giving me a sense of solidity, stability, leading into a more concerted, connected, coordinated efforting that gives strength, 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 strength. If you add speed to strength, you can get power, right? Power is the multiple of strength over time. That's just how it is. 
if you have a certain amount of mass and you move it faster, that took more power. That's just physics that I learned in high school. <laughs> That's about it for my physics knowledge right there. Okay, so try it out. And also, if you're a practitioner, try working with these ideas to help your clients. Help get them organized on the table with your body work, then help them put that into practice by adding sensory awareness, connecting up to the perception, who, where, sorry, not so much who, where, how, how fast, how much energy, how much weight, connecting that information into a more coordinated action, full body, connecting. Because of that full body nature, feeling that stability, which gives you more strength, all right? When you have a more coordinated, stable base to move, you're gonna have more strength. Down the line, start working with power if you want. I do, for me, as best I still can. <laughs> All right, I hope that was interesting for you. Thank you.